The book, insha'Allah ta'ala, that shall be the center of our studies, is a famous book known to all of you as Kitab al-Tawheed. This book is one of the greatest and most comprehensive book written on the subject of Tawheed. The beauty of this book, as you so see, insha'Allah ta'ala, is that every single chapter initiates with either a Quranic verse or a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa or sometimes even both. So in other words, every chapter, there is nothing in the book but Qal Allah wa Qala Rasulullah. There's no saying Qala Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab ABC. No. It's but Qala Allah wa Qala Rasulullah. The author, his name is Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, ibn Sulaiman, ibn Ali, ibn Muhammad, ibn Ahmad, ibn Rashid at Tamimi. He wrote the book because at the time, Arabia was infested with all sorts of repugnant bid'ah. Innovations, novelties, heresies, blatant kufr and shirk. And then, from the heart of this disorder, this darkness, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can say, sent this man. So when he saw the evil that is surrounding his people, that is surrounding him, what did he do? As any person will do, any Muslim, he immediately started calling to that which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded from the first Rasul to the last Rasul. Who was the first Rasul for it? Adam, huh? First Rasul. Nuh. The first Rasul was Nuh. The last Rasul, and who's he? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So when people started hearing this, they flocked towards him. Even those people of innovation, because they were blinded. They were clouded. They did not understand right from wrong. But when they heard Islam for the first time, at 91 years old, the Shaykh died. But Allah Ta'ala, all of Hijaz and most of the Arabian Peninsula had unified on Tawheed. Yeah!